on top and I'm joined by Wanda about to hear more about this victory. I'm Wanda, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Yeah, it does feel like a bit of a tell as all this time, you know, no matter how many players change, it does feel like G2 and Fnatic rivalry always brings that extra layer of hype or perhaps stake. So you play both sides of the rivalry. So how does it feel to play it out on the Fnatic side and this time also win it? Uh, I mean, of course, this time it's uh, different because in the past, when I played for G2, I only really... My part in the rivalry was like winning for Caps or winning for whoever left the team and then joined ours. Uh, now I'm kind of in that position. So now I want to win against my old team and I also want to win against my old teammates. Mm -hmm. So in the past, I'd say the rivalry didn't matter as much. Of course, like there's always, it's like a historic matchup. So there's always going to be added pressure. Now it was on stage today as well. So it's of course it, it it means a lot and now it just it changed because I'm on Fnatic and I'm not the not the guy having to win for my teammates but rather I just have to win for my own sake. Like you did mention in previous interviews that you were really looking forward to G2. Now that you have enacted your revenge, like how does it feel? Was it like, as sweet as you imagined, perhaps? I mean, at the moment we are one on one, right? Mm -hmm. And it's regular split, and we are kind of uh, even in the standings. I'd say both of our teams have our strengths and weaknesses. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see at playoffs. I'd say my real revenge will come come by playoffs, right? And right now, I think, I mean, today was a, was a good win. I, I think all my teammates performed really well. Uh, I was getting targeted a little bit and I had to, like, uh, play a bit more defensive or not really show, like, some lane dominance, you know, just get pushed in and, and, and take it slow. But I'm happy my team had my back uh, 